Light has been shining for billions of years across the incomprehensible expanse of the universe, concealing the secrets of creation within the darkness. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, a technological marvel and a symbol of human ambition, represents a significant step forward for humanity. At the second Lagrange point, L2, 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, JWST is prepared to look further into space than any previous instrument. On this heavenly stage, JWST is ready to uncover the mysteries of the universe, insider facts we've looked for starting from the earliest days of recorded history. In any case, what will it find? Will it reveal the dark forces that shape the universe, new worlds teeming with life, or the origins of galaxies? As JWST leaves on its excursion, the expectations of humankind lay on its main goal, energized by the disclosures that could perpetually change how we might interpret life. The tale of JWST starts well before its send-off, established in the tradition of the Hubble Space Telescope, HST. Sent off in 1990, Hubble furnished mankind with mind-blowing pictures and significant information that changed comprehension we might interpret the universe. Hubble showed us the universe in ways that were previously unimaginable, including capturing the pillars of creation and peering into faraway galaxies. However, as significant as its commitments were, Hubble was restricted by its situation in Earth's circle, where barometrical obstruction and the limitations of its optical instruments confined its span. As stargazers look to investigate the universe's most far-off and old locales, where light is so weak and redshifted it lies past the noticeable range, the requirement for an all the more remarkable observatory turned out to be clear. A telescope that could detect infrared light was needed to observe these faraway realms. As a result, the idea for JWST, a next generation space telescope that aims to explore the deepest reaches of space and reveal the universe's earliest epochs and the birth of the first stars and galaxies, was born. Named after James E. Webb, a trailblazer in NASA's space investigation, JWST addresses our aggregate capacity to concentrate on the universe. This telescope's design is a feat of engineering because it combines cutting-edge technology with novel approaches to overcoming the difficulties of space observation. At the core of JWST is its essential mirror, 6.5 meters in measurement, over two times the size of Hubble's. The mirror, which is made up of 18 hexagonal segments coated in a thin layer of gold, is intended to improve the telescope's light-gathering capacity so that it can detect faint signals from the universe's farthest objects. The decision of gold for the covering was intentional. Gold has great intelligent properties for infrared light, the essential frequency at which JWST works. The mirror, on the other hand, was too big to fit in the rocket's payload bay, which presented a unique obstacle. Engineers came up with a solution to this problem by designing the mirror to fold up small enough for launch and then deploy in space, a feat that had never been done before on this scale. This unfurling system, which occurred a long time after send-off, was an overwhelming undertaking, with each step basic to the mission's prosperity. JWST has a collection of cutting-edge instruments, each designed to capture and analyze a specific part of the electromagnetic spectrum, in addition to its mirror. These incorporate the close-to-infrared camera NIR-CAM, the mid-infrared instrument MIRI, the close-to-infrared spectrograph NIR-SPEC, and the fine-direction sensor slash close-to-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph FGS slash NIRIS. JWST is able to observe the universe in a wide range of wavelengths, from the near-infrared to the mid-infrared, thanks to these instruments. This makes it possible to conduct in-depth research on the universe. One of JWST's significant benefits over its ancestors is its area at the second Lagrange point, L2, around 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. L2 is a place of gravitational harmony, where the powers of the Earth and the Sun balance, permitting JWST to keep a steady position comparative with the two bodies. This strength diminishes the requirement for incessant changes and offers a reasonable, continuous perspective on the universe. The stable thermal environment that L2 provides is an important advantage because it is necessary for the sensitive infrared instruments used by JWST to function properly. Infrared perceptions require the telescope to be kept incredibly cold, underneath 50K, roughly 223 degrees Celsius. To keep its intensity from disrupting the weak signs, it is distinguishing. To accomplish this, 
JWST is furnished with a huge sunshield, about the size of a tennis court, which blocks heat from the sun, earth, and moon, keeping the telescope in long-lasting shadow. The fruitful sending of the sunshield was a significant achievement, guaranteeing JWST can work at the vital temperatures to accomplish its logical objectives. One of JWST's essential logical goals is to investigate the development and advancement of universes, stars, and planetary frameworks by thinking back billions of years. In contrast to visible light, which is absorbed by interstellar dust and scattered, infrared light can penetrate cosmic clouds and reveal hidden processes within. This capacity permits JWST to notice the introduction of stars and planets and the development of systems in the early universe. By catching light that has voyaged billions of years, JWST thinks back in time, empowering researchers to concentrate on the universe soon after the enormous detonation. Understanding the formation and evolution of the first galaxies over time requires this deep-time observation. With its exceptional responsiveness, JWST can distinguish faint light from these old worlds, giving new experiences into the cycles that molded the universe's huge construction. One of JWST's initial victories was its perception of the Stefan's Quintet, a gathering of five universes found 290 million light-years away. The intricate interactions between these galaxies, as well as the effects of gravitational forces and the presence of dark matter, were revealed by the in-depth images that JWST took. These perceptions give critical information on the job of dim matter in system development and development, as well as the elements of enormous connections on a stupendous scale. Past investigating the early universe, JWST assumes an essential part in the quest for life past our nearby planet group. Studying exoplanets, planets orbiting stars outside our solar system, by examining their atmospheres for signs of habitability and potential biosignatures is one of its primary responsibilities. JWST is able to determine the presence of essential molecules like methane, carbon dioxide, and water vapor by observing the light from a star as it passes through an exoplanet's atmosphere during a transit. This capability is a significant step forward in our search for planets similar to Earth that might support life. JWST's perceptions will assist researchers with distinguishing planets with the right circumstances forever and will give important information on the variety of planetary frameworks all through the cosmic system. The investigation of exoplanets is a quickly developing field, and JWST's commitments are supposed to prompt historic revelations that could reshape how we might interpret the potential for life known to mankind. One of the most intriguing parts of JWST's exoplanet research is its capacity to concentrate on the environments of super-Earths and scaled-down Neptunes, planets that are bigger than Earth yet more modest than Neptune. Despite the fact that these kinds of planets are among the most common in our galaxy, little is known about how their atmospheres are made. By breaking down the light from these far-off universes, JWST will give new bits of knowledge into their synthetic creation, environment, and tenability. The success of international cooperation can be seen in the creation and launch of JWST. The telescope is the consequence of coordinated effort between NASA, the European Space Organization, ESA, and the Canadian Space Organization, CSA showing a guarantee to propelling comprehension we might interpret the universe. Scientists, engineers, and architects from all over the world contributed to the design, construction, and testing of JWST by combining resources, expertise, and inventiveness. They overcame numerous technical obstacles and delays to bring the project to fruition. This cooperative soul stretches out to JWST's logical program, which incorporates scientists from the global local area of stargazers and astrophysicists. The information gathered by JWST will be accessible to specialists around the world, empowering a large number of studies and advancing global participation in science. The success of JWST exemplifies the results that can be achieved when nations work together to advance science and human exploration. Among the numerous secrets JWST tries to unwind is the nature and conveyance of dull matter and dim energy, the two parts that together make up the majority of the universe's fiery substance.